this video tutorial I will cover how to inject indent string values using spring dependency injection by setter method. Using setter method, we can inject the dependency. Property element is a sub element of bean. Using that, we can do setter injection. We can inject primitive values, string based values, dependent object and collection values etc. Here I have defined the class employee. It has two properties id and name and it has getter and setter methods for these two properties and here I have overridden two string method. This is a spring configuration file. Here we have mentioned Employee object should be created by spring container using a dependency injection by setter method. Property element which invokes a setter method. In this case, property name equal to id. So, set id method will be called and id will be passed as 50 and id will be set as 50. Here, property name equal to name. So, set name method will be called and name will be passed as Peter and name will be set as Peter. What object to instantiate, what object to configure and how to configure. These information will be there in spring configuration file. In this example, we have specified employee object should be created by spring container using a setter dependency injection. Spring container, read this spring configuration file. It creates the employee object and configure the employee object and manage the complete life cycle of employee object. Here I have defined a class app. Here I have created application context object by reading a spring configuration file using a getbean method of application context object i am getting a employee object from a spring container and displaying the employee object information here you can see the output we got employee object from a spring container and employee object id is set as 50 and name is set as peter 